A lot of people have been asking me how to uh, connect 232 device through the fiber optic system. So what we have here uh, on the bench, we have a Tritec uh, Seeking Sonar, which operates on 232. It could be any device, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, then we have the subsea and surface uh, fiber optic module uh, computer. Um, subsea, uh, this computer, that's the Raspberry Pi, basically the uh, ROV uh, computer. Over here we have an Ethernet switch that's meant to be subsea with the system. And then I have this device over here which does the magic. It's a TCP232. And then I have a 232 to TTL uh, logic converter. And this is connected, basically the Ethernet device is connected to the uh, network hub. The Raspberry Pi is also connected to the network hub or switch. And then the, the switch is connected to the uh, fiber optic transmitter. Now this is a gig E transmitter, but it does work in both speed and auto negotiates. So we have a fiber optic, and then the surface uh, gig E to fiber ethernet converter, which then again, just for purpose of example, is plugged in to another switch, which is not uh, necessary, but it's there. And then to the computer. Now, uh, as you can see on my uh, CNET Pro software, the head is working. So I'm gonna pause the head now. We can see at the bottom. Come okay, alive from head two. And how did we achieve this? As uh, the USR has the VCOM uh, software I will post the link. And this basically software allows you to create a virtual COM port. So CNET Pro has no idea that it's a virtual COM port, but this COM port is basically connected to this ethernet device. So this is seamless on your computer. And also, well, there's a lot less of uh, wiring uh, required since all you are using is the same Ethernet uh, cable that you would use to control your ROV. Now, with regards to the ROV itself, I'm not running QGround control right now because I just got the Raspberry Pi connected, but it's all the same. So if I just do the, uh, the test for the network speed, you can see that I have 86 Mbps on upload and download 9390 which is essentially the same speed you would get if you were connected straight to the raspberry pi to the computer in fact let's do that right now so i'm going to disconnect my network hub sorry for the footage I'm going to connect the Raspberry Pi directly to the computer. Let's give it some time. We'll refresh the page. And run the tests again. So you can see the speeds exactly the same. And upload and download which this basically means that the sonar head going through the ethernet switch does not influence the, the speed of the ROV connection and video so you're all good on that so uh, this concludes the video I hope that uh, you've enjoyed it and learned a little trick on how to connect RS232 devices through the blue robotics ROV thank you for watching